Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to Pragmatic Bodybuilding. As always, I really do appreciate you following along, watching the video. And if you happen to be enjoying the series, enjoying our channel, if you guys can do me a favor and like the video, possibly subscribe if you haven't already, and even share the video as it really does help us to reach more people. And of course, our goal is to help as many people as possible. So today I wanted to touch on top sets and back off sets. I've been using this the last five to six weeks in my training and I've really seen my overall strength level go up. And of course, super motivating when you see your strength taken off, especially when you're soon to be 53 years of age see this progress it's definitely making me feel very optimistic that I might be able to squeeze out a little bit more potential out of myself I think sometimes as we get older we can get a little down on ourselves lose a little bit of that optimism just have to get in there and get after it but at the same time you definitely want to ensure that you're keeping yourself safe and of course the number one killer of progress is if you can't really play in the game so top sets and back off sets have has been very productive as of late. Maybe what top sets are is using heavier load. And for me, I've just been doing it with one set and in a lower rep range. And for me personally, this is gonna be around four to seven reps. And the key here is that I'm leaving plenty in the tank, three to four reps in reserve. I mean, on occasion, it might be two reps, but the goal is to try to leave plenty in the tank. So that way I'm not creating too much fatigue for the following back off sets. I'm just trying to touch a heavier load to get some exposure to it so I can slowly start to acclimate. Again, not going so close to failure where I'm generating excessive fatigue and at risk for, let's say, form breakdown. From the first rep to the last rep, especially with heavier loading, I want to make sure my form is really on point. I don't want any risk for injury. I also want to make sure I'm getting as much as I can out of the target musculature. So after my one top set, I'm rolling into my two back off sets. These sets are performed with lighter loads loads in a higher rep range. I'm pushing myself closer to failure on these two sets to ensure I'm tapping into plenty of muscle fiber. With exercises that are safer to do so, on the last set I may even get to failure and just to ensure I'm getting as much stimulus as possible. But these back off sets, because we're working with a little higher rep range and the load is a bit more moderate, I'm able to maximize my form, a safer accumulation of training volume. So the underlying principle of this training concept is progressive overload. With each session, I am aiming to gradually increase the number of reps within my rep range target. Once the high end of the rep range is attained with really good form, for example, performing seven reps on my top set, the load is increased conservatively, anywhere between two and a half to 10 pounds, dependent on the exercise in question. Then once I bump that load, then I go back down to the lower end of the rep range and the process starts all over again. So the conservative approach also applies to my back off sets. By methodically increasing the reps and then the load, I'm ensuring adaptations aren't overwhelming and therefore my recovery is a little bit more on point. So again, guys, this concept, the last five to six weeks has worked really well for me. It's been super motivating, but I also know at the same time, everything does come to an end. So I'm sure at some point I'm gonna plateau. I'm not gonna be able to continue to elevate the loads as as much as I've been you know, here recently. Uh, but this is a nice tool to use you know, every once in a while to give yourself a little spark, to nudge that loading up. The load is an important part of our training. We, we do need to have that mechanical tension. Bumping your loads up, even if it's you know 1%, it can make a difference over time. But anyways, I'm gonna leave it here. Hope you guys enjoyed. Of course, questions, comments, all feedback, all welcome down below in the comment section. And as always, I'll do my best to try to engage with you guys. And I hope you guys have a good week of training and we'll talk more next week.